Now, Kieran was a candidate for the island hand mainly due to the fact that he was, uh, his skin was able to produce a, a, a site for the, the electrodes and then also just due to his uh, functional activities. He's a young active male who requires a lot of versatility with a prosthesis that a conventional prosthesis just can't offer him. So the ILM hand was able to provide him with the multiple prehension patterns that he needed to meet his daily activities. Well, Touch Bionics has been uh, very helpful in, in getting started with the ILM since it's such new technology and there's not much history out there, much experience uh, from a clinical aspect. Uh, Touch Bionics has uh, been very easy to work with, providing questions, customer service, um, just working through the bugs, if you will, with fitting the new hand. Karen's feedback on the island hand has been really very impressive. The hand has been very easy to work with, and Karen is very, uh, very skilled with using the hand in just a short period of time. He's able, he's almost mastered all the prehension patterns, um, has independent thumb function, wrist rotation, and from that standpoint, um, it's, it's pretty exciting to see someone use this new technology. Actually, Kieran had no previous experience with a myoelectric hand. His experience with a prosthesis was strictly from a conventional prosthesis. So he had no prior training with a myoelectric, uh, but when fit with the ILM hand, it was almost as if he had been using one all his life. He engages in a lot of different activities. He's uh, into golf, playing guitar, engages in yoga, uh, works on a keyboard, and just name a few. So the hand is, is quite capable of of operating in different positions um, and uh, different speeds with uh, different grip forces to allow him to engage in those activities.